I would prefer to make these bastards bleed. But I trust that you speak from caution rather than cowardice. I will put my faith in you and pretend to be their slave. Her mind fills with warmth and she gently releases you. Is it done? I did not feel her mind break. No, no! My sister only meant to compliment your delicate work. Indeed. Seems I have a bit to learn yet. We ought to return to our posts, sister. There'll be plenty more prisoners to practice on. <laughs> an ill thing to let an enemy show their back and live. Lead then. Have to keep going. Minthara is supposed to be in a cell. You have some explaining to do. is happy to let you pass. Minthara is rather less happy about your choice of words. Their death is merely delayed. We will return and kill them all. Here we go. But when the time is right, the absolutists will feel the sting of my blade. She'd been escorted from her cell. Not that she could leave the tower. The general ordered that she be repurposed, not freed. Excellent. Hers was a difficult mind to erase, no doubt. She was fierce and erratic. I live to serve. Uh -huh. As loyal as a golem. Hmm. Use her well. I last left Moonrise as a commander in the Absolute's army. Obeying the voice of a god. I thought I had found a home. And a purpose. Now I leave as an exile. But you risked your life to rescue me. For that, I am grateful. The artifact connects with her, pulling your minds together. And showing her all that you have seen. The prison. Your dream visitor, the protection that keeps you from obeying the absolute and becoming a lithid. She knows it all in a moment. Her mind reels, but is no longer clouded. She accepts the truth. She has no choice. There is much we must discuss. Do you have a safe place to camp nearby?
goodbye for now. I will see you soon. I have something to ask. It does not compare with the comforts of home, but your camp is almost palatial in comparison to my previous accommodation. Thank you for allowing me to come here and for bringing me back to myself. Each memory that returns to me is more disturbing than the last. The things that I did in the name of the Absolute. The things that were done to me. They broke my mind. The best cure is vengeance for both of us. While our tadpoles live and the cult have the means to control them, we will never be safe. We must eradicate them, starting with General Thorm. <sighs> I mean, Ketherick. My deference to him is a habit that will die hard, I fear. All that live can die. I can help you plot Ketherick's demise, but I need something from you first. Swear that you will keep me close. Until the Absolute is dead, at least. Thank you. I knew you were different to other true souls when we lay together. Now I know it was the prism that silenced the Absolute in those moments, not you. But it was not the prism that held me and touched my mind and body. That was you. For now, we will travel together and fight together. In time, perhaps we will lie together again. Kind words do not always come easily to me. Her entire being joins with you for a moment, and you see all that she is. Dangerous, cunning, wounded, brutal, paranoid, and utterly loyal to those she trusts. And you have earned that trust, along with a small measure of her affection. It is a rare thing, well hidden in the cold fortress of her mind, and it is precious. Together, we can have our vengeance on those who infected us. Rest well, and keep your wits about you. Tomorrow, we go to war with the Cult of the Absolute. General Thorm would have the world believe that his invulnerability is a gift from the Absolute. That is a lie, intended to impress those who flock to the cult's cause, and who strike fear in the minds of those who stand against the Absolute. I believe Thorm draws his power not from a divine source, but an arcane one. I suspect it is the very relic that Balthazar has been sent to retrieve. We must find the Necromancer and claim what he seeks, or destroy it. Now, rest. We will need our strength for what lies ahead. I would gladly join you in the fight. <laughs>